Testing, testing, one, two, three. Can you all hear my voice? All right. Okay, I will start our webinar. Good evening to all the participants. Oh, I'm so sorry. Good evening to all the participants. My name is Chong Kaling and I will be your facilitator today. First of all, I would like to thank every one of you for sparing your precious time for joining us today. Welcome to today's live sharing sessions with the title of Saving Money as a Student. All right, I believe most of the participants today are university students who share the same problem, which is financial distress. Some of the common issues that we face, such that as do not have enough money for daily expenses, overstress due to a shortage of money, which could even affect our academic performance limited finance and poor planning. But don't worry, you will be learning something about the ways to save the money in these sharing sessions. So today, we have invited several senior students who are currently in semester seven and above to share tips for saving money based on their own experience and insight. Together, we have Miss Lo Jaying, Miss Tiong Fui Ling, and Mr. Lim An. Without further ado, let's start our sharing session today. May I have Miss Lo to get the ball rolling? Hey, Can you ask her? Can you guys listen my voice? Hello. Hello, can you guys hear? Yes, okay. Yes. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Ms. Wong, for having me. Hello. Uh, so for uh, income for the technical issues. Okay. Thank you, Miss Chong, for having me. Um, based on my experience, I think that one of the best tip is to set up a uh, budget list. This is mean that uh, you need to keep track of the daily spending and make it a habit because it is important to plan our uh, spending wisely. And then uh, you should also list out the essential and non-essential things so you will not end up wasting the money on something that is unnecessary and regret you, your impulsive purchase later on. And besides, don't come to peer pressure. Uh, I mean, here, don't be jealous of your friends' luxury lifestyle or belonging. For instance, 
you want to purchase a brand phone such as iPhone just because you see your friends have it. But you should consider your financial situation when buying stuff. Just the Malay, just bread. Uh, so, apart from that, many university students now they also already get used to credit card payment and e-wallets, uh, especially with the payload features, which I noticed about. Uh, they often do not realize they actually overspend their money and are in debt. This could lead them to bankruptcy at young stage. So, for me, uh, I would like to mention that uh, to set money is to, uh, the best tip is to set up a budget list and not come to peer pressure. And lastly, is don't use uh, pay like features that's all from me thank you miss law thank you very much for your sharing Indeed, we should always be cautious when purchasing things. Next, let us hear from Mr. Lim. Interesting, Mr. Lim. I also like to seize this opportunity to promote the products that we are selling. In our online shop, you can find some used test books which are suitable for those who are taking the course. Instead of purchasing brand new books, you can consider buying from our platform, which is Shopee. The books that we sell are at least half the price of new books. Usually, these books will be only used for one semester. So I suggest you all purchase used books to save money. And you can find a link to our online store inside our chat box. So you all can check the link of our online store inside your chat box. And then, all right. Done with the promoting. Let's continue with our sharing sessions. And Miss Tiong, you have the floor. Thank you, Miss Chong. Hi, everyone. I would like to talk about an unusual tip that people seldom think of, which is to keep fit and stay healthy. It seems irrelevant to the topic, but it is extremely important. This is because when you fall sick, you have to spend much more to, gain, to regain health. For example, 
you have to use Grab to go to the nearest clinic or hospital and spend a large amount of money on medicine and appointment with doctors. Although we have Pusat Kesihatan on our campus, it could be inconvenient, sometimes due to business hours and early appointment issues. Therefore, by keeping an eye on our health, we can avoid unnecessary spending. This also means that we must eat healthily during our daily lives. Don't indulge in health, unhealthy foods such as fast foods and junk foods. I believe that many students tend to choose these foods due to their hectic schedule, but it is not a good habit and it's harmful to our health. So, moreover, you can also do exercise keep fit. Make full use of the facilities found in our campus such as the gymnasium, swimming pool, cocks, and so forth. Carrying out sport activities is not only good for your health, but it's also a good, great way to fill your spare time. So most importantly, it is completely free of charge. Young. Nowadays, we are not forced to wear the face mask in the public, but wearing a face mask can actually lower the rise of getting the flu and other disease. If you are interested to find some cheap masks, do visit our web store and you can access it using the link that I posted in the chat box. And besides, as Ms. Teo mentioned, we must eat healthily. If you are considering buying the healthy snacks and you may want to try out the Jerry Davis sell, it is cheaper than most of the junk food out there. And most importantly, it is a healthy snack for you to munch on when you're doing the assignment. Okay, does anyone have something to add? All right. Thank you, Mr. Lim. In relation to the suggestion made by Mr. Lim previously, you can sell second brands, oh, sorry, second-hand items in our Shopee store as well. Just get in touch with us and we will put up the product for you and help you to sell it in on time. This will be convenient for those who are too busy to look for the potential buyers. All right. Before we end our sharing session today, we have our Q&A sections. And let's take a five-minute break before we proceed. Okay. So you may type your queries inside the chat box and we will have our panelists answer your questions. Thank you.
All right. Thank you for you all cooperation. So let us go to the chat box to view what is the questions that our participant has written inside our chat box. All right. First of all, thank you for Mr. Arifu Rahman. Mr. Arifu Rahman says, as Ms. Chong mentioned, we can sell secondhand items in your Shopee store. May I know the categories of items? So can I know who can answer these questions? That, that is from our Mr. Arifu Rahman. All right, thank you. The answer from our Mr. Liman. So let us go to the next question, which is from our Mr. Adi Huzaifa. All right, this question is say that. How could we send the items for you in order to post or display on the online store? So our dear panelists, who can answer these questions? Okay. Uh, I would like to answer this question from So, for our online store, or uh, if you have a big item, uh, you can send us a picture uh, of the item that you need to sell. And if there is some interest to buy, and we will send the detail for you, and you can proceed to the so how all right mm -hmm. all right thank you miss law so thank you to these two our dear participants who has and uh, who has asked the questions for our dear panelists and also thank you the miss law Mr. Man. So, okay, so our selling sessions have come to an end. Special thanks to the panelists for sharing their ideas generously. And thank you once again to all the participants who joined the live sharing sessions today. And I hope that you all learned something new from these sessions and could benefit from it. That's all for today. And goodbye, everyone. And see you all. Thank you.